Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to have a look at a tape, writing some data to it, and then using a magnet to actually erase some of the data, and then see how to get past that and read in the rest of the data, getting past the point that's been damaged by the magnet. So let's jump into it and uh, see where we get to. Okay, so just wait for the tape to load here a moment. And uh, yeah, it's initialized and we're at 6250 uh, bits per inch. Okay, so the tape device, we'll just check it's attached. Uh, let's do a quick D message. And we'll grab M4. With a capital M. Bring this down a little bit, and you can see uh, there. Yep, so we've got the open rail tape drive, it's attached. And this device should be ST0, so if we do LS uh, PCI, okay. Let's go MT TAC F, and the device will be ST0. And the status drive error count block, so you can see we're at the start of the tape, no data is there. So let's do a PWD LS. So we've got some test data here. Uh, if I just do a quick cat on test.txt, you can see it's uh, lots of uh, tape and that. Uh, the text we've just taken from uh, Wikipedia there. Clear this. Uh, it's funny there. Clear that again. We will first of all write this to the tape drive. Okay, so we're going to cut that file out. We're going to use DD to format it into blocks and we're going to write that to ST0 from where we are on the tape. Okay, so that's been written. So we've got 863 records uh, plus one. So I guess the file mark on the end there. Let's uh, read that back in. Equals eight six three. The block size will be four zero nine six, and the count will equal eight six three. Okay, so we can read that back in slightly faster. I think we've probably chopped a bit of data off the end there. Let's just do a CMP uh, read 1.txt with test data. Test txt even and the file after that in line that okay we already know that because we've truncated the file so let's just read that again and we'll read that with eight four blocks okay so let's read back in now we've actually now got matching amount of data let's rerun the compare and we can see it fully compares. So what we've actually done there is rotate test txt. Try just do a quick cat on that to the screen. You can see we've got lots of text in there, mainly from Wikipedia. Um, and if we clear this. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go and unload the tape and we will uh, set about it with a magnet back in one moment. Okay, so I've ejected the tape from the drive. What I'm gonna do now is unwind this, and what we'll find is a little shiny marker on here in a moment, which shows where the actual start of the data is to. And the first part of the tape's used for the take up. So let me unwind this. Okay, found the marker, so we can see here, see we've got the shiny marker. Um, 
if you can see that here on the tape, just that, that there is used by the tape drive to detect the start of the area to write data. What I'm going to do now is just wind off a few more spools of this and we'll just run the magnet then across a small section of the tape. So let me take the magnet and what we'll literally do, I think on this, I'll just go across a very small section of the tape like so and we'll go and load that now back into the tape drive once I wind it back up and we'll read the data back in again. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, so tape's back in, I'm just loading. Now I guess what we'll do is in the command prompt here, we will just uh, read the data back in again. Let me uh, find the uh, command to tell you what I'll do. Move the command prompt down slightly. So let's uh, DD input files the device. Let's set this to read to, and we will go for it. Let's see what happens. Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble reading there. Input output error. Okay. So in this case, what we can see there is that we've only read part of the data back in. So let's have a quick cat on read 2.txt. So we've got the first part there. But obviously it couldn't read past the bit where I'd uh, damage the tape with the magnet. Um, let's so we knew the read error was at block um, 147 wasn't it so let's do I think we say offset equals 148 and let's do read free and see if we can actually get past that block read again um, hang on let's double check the syntax of dd Start at input input block. So we want to seek in this case. So change that to seek, which means it will start at that block. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so we can see actually at uh, block 147, what we've actually done is damage the tracks. So the tape can't actually get past this point. Um, if you've got any ideas on how to get by that, let me know. I wonder if I can forward space with MT. Let's have a go at that. MT and device. Uh, let's just do a status and device is going to be uh, next to zero. Let's, in fact, let's do the dd command. Let's use the n st0, which is no rewind. Okay. So we've got an input error there, 147. Now I wonder if I can try this again. Yeah, so I'm struggling to get by there. Let's see, mt fsr forward space records. So forward space record slash dev slash mst zero. Okay, and let's run that. 
forward space two. Three weeks later. Let's try a forward space records one four eight then. Because um, I used the previous command with the ST. We're going to put the N in there for no rewind. Let's see what happens. Okay. Looks like we've got past that point. So let's try and now read the rest of the data. It's from there with DD. And let's uh, read from here. And we'll read four into there. Okay. Uh, still got an input output error. Okay. Let's try forward space 10. A little bit more. Let's try and read some more of them. Okay, so you can see there we've read the rest of the records after where we've damaged the data from the tape. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope to make this part of a little series where we try different things with the uh, tape drive, tape, writing bytes, looking at how the records are written and actually repositioning and writing various uh, chunks of data to the tape drive. Um, if this is of interest, hit the like and the subscribe. And again, if there's anything you'd like me to try, comment below, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much.